So welcome back people. In this video we're going to do horizontal stick welding and it's going to call, be called a pad weld. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a layer of weld on a plate. So in this first video we've got 60 13 welding rods. They are 3.25s and we're running them on about 120 amps. So the aim with a pad weld is to put a run down and then the second run needs to cover half of the first run. So what we're trying to do is create a layer of metal. So if you were capping a plate butt or a single V uh, pipe butt, then you would use this method of, of layering rods to create either the fills or the capping run. So practices on a plate is the way to start. So as you can see here, we are, we're, we're, we've got an angle of about 15 degrees dragging and obviously we're pointing slightly up trying to keep that slag at the back of the pool. If the slag comes around the front, that's when you're getting lack of fusion and slag traps, especially with 6013s. The flux and the and the, and the weld metal sort of join together, and the, the, it's very hard to differentiate between the two. As you'll see in the later section of this video, the 7018s are a little bit easier to see. So we're running these on DC positive, so electrode positive. So layer done, could have been a bit straighter on the top. So moving on to 7018s, as you can see, there is a slight difference. You can now see the weld metal as opposed to the 6013s, but the method is exactly the same. We're using the same angle, same amps, still using 3.25s, but these have to be run on positive because we need the two thirds of the heat to be able to melt that slag because the flux on a 7018 is quite thick. So it's always one to remember. So here's the difference between the two. Cheeky little quiz. Which one, picture one or two, is 7018s and 6013s? Chuck it in the comments below and let us know your thoughts. So next video on screen, I'll show you how to apply this method to a V-book. Thanks for watching.